So in this segment, I want to talk a little bit about the props layer. Uh, again, the props layer is the layer that sits at the very, very top above everything else that's going on on the screen. So if I have um, text and, or I'm sorry, a slide and some video background going, uh, the prop is going to sit on top of everything else that's going on the screen. Now you can see all of your props by clicking on the props button in the toolbar. And uh, in this example, I actually have two different props. Uh, these actually just look like slides, and essentially that's what they are. They're slide objects or objects that you can put on the screen in a specific um, coordinate that will actually show above everything. So just to show you what props are, or a couple uses of props, is I'll make this logo prop live, which adds a lower right-hand logo to our screen. And then I'll actually do a simple welcome to, the ch to our church uh, banner at the top. And again, whenever these are live, and I can close this, I can be doing anything else uh, within Propers that I, that I want to, and those props will remain active. So it's very simple. A prop uh, is set up as just as if it were a slide. So when I go into my props window, I can click on edit props, and what you're going to see here is very much uh, similar look to what our slide editor looks like. Um, each one of the, the props is essentially set up as a slide. So if I'm going to create a new prop, I can just hit the plus button as if I were adding a new slide, and I'll go into my inspector and set the name for this prop as, uh, let's, we'll say we're glad, or thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. So for this prop, I'm just going to do a simple text box um, on the lower left-hand side that we might show at the end of a song uh, as people start walking out the door um, <laughs> at the end of a service. And I'm actually going to specify the fill color to be a color. We'll do a cheery yellow. And again, because I like to, I'm actually going to set the opacity to be slightly less than that. And then I'll add a text box and grow this and just type in, thanks for attending. Okay, so that's going to just sit on the lower left-hand side of, uh, of our slide. <clears throat> and so now that I've edited that and added that, it appears within the props menu. You'll notice that the logo and welcome are actually live, and so they're actually highlighted as orange. And again, I can turn those off by just by clicking on each of them. Or whenever they are live, they actually appear up here in the, in the active props window. And so I can make them go away by just hitting their close box. And as, you do, as I do that, you'll see that it has gone away on my output screen. So let's just make all of these props live. It's really ugly, but it kind of gets the point across. This is the power of props, to be able to have um, predefined objects that just sit on top of everything else that's going on on the screen. Another use of this would be if you wanted to mask out the screen, you could create a, a transparent PNG file and uh, lay it on top of everything else that's going on the output screen. Props also uh, will adhere to the clear all command, so if I hit the clear all button, all of those props will go away. And then there are uh, special props, which would be um, messages, and we get we'll get that into uh, get into that in the segment that is labeled appropriately messages. <clears throat>